Hey, what's going on, guys? So with the latest batch of Abyss beta quests, we now have Strata 9. Strata 9 is very similar to Strata 6, where there are th uh, six level 100 quests. Uh, and once you clear them, they lock the comp out that you use. So I had a lot of people asking me for Strata 6, what characters I use, what comps, etc. So I figured I'd go ahead and I'd record them this time around so you guys can see what I'm using. Um... Yeah, I'm also going to try to run uh, duo runs when I can. I'm definitely not going to be able to run duos on every single one. That's not going to happen. But I'm going to run them when I can. Okay, good. I'm going to missile this guy. Okay, so Lulu taking HP damage is fine. I don't really care about Lulu taking the damage, but I do worry about Bart's. I need that if for attack bonus active at all times. Alright, we'll... Uh We'll miss one more time. Alright, and that'll get us out of the wave. Good. Okay, so let's uh, let's double hand A. out of this way. Fire weakness. A little double hand. And I'm being pretty I'm being pretty loose with her ability usage because um, I'm gonna be swapping her out for Quistus with Lulu, so I'm not too worried about holding on to her abilities or anything like that. Oh, nice. Okay, I did not think Lulu would kill there. That was really good. Okay. And this will get us out of the wave. Good stuff. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Fire weakness on him. And then summon. <clears throat> so Bart's and uh, Quistus have really good synergy with each other. Quistus is able to battery Bart's enough to where he hits the 80% on double hand every single time. And then Bart's missile will help Quistus later on hit the 100% that she needs so her EX HP attack activates. Although, you know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna use Homing Whip right now. Oh, nice. It did hit. Okay, good. Okay, so that wave went really, really well. Awesome. Sometimes that wave drags on a little bit, but no, it went perfect. Okay, 9-7 perfected. We are good to go.
Okay, 9-8 has two green crystal characters and a staff. Now, these do have the monsters uh, from Sid's uh, stage. <clears throat> the uh, Sid dinosaur robot things. So, this one can be pretty annoying. <clears throat> Now, my Garnet has her 15 passive, but her 35 is base. So, she is just just awful. She's awful. She, <laughs> there's really no other way to put it. Alright, so... Ooh, okay, so both the Gargoyles are targeting Garnet. That looks out really nice. Okay, take out A, and then we are going to Angelo Cannon with Renoa. Get that HP up. Charge the EX gauge a little bit. Okay, that wave went extremely well. Hopefully my Renoa goes first. Perfect. Well, I guess it didn't really matter, but... <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, HP plus... Yeah. So, yeah, let's do this. So, let's Angelo Cannon. All right, and then here comes Garnett. Oh, and both, they're both targeting Garnet too. Okay, that's really good. Okay, and we're going to actually save the EX for an oh shit moment later. Because I'm sure we'll run into one. Refresh the very small bravery gen in Renoa. Okay, and then brave, so she doesn't get broken. Okay, good. We killed A. Ooh, I was nervous about that. If he didn't die, that would have led to some problems. Okay, whew. We made it. <coughs> that one's scary, because once they start using their high turn rate moves, it's pretty much it's pretty much over at that point. So, we made it. We got through it. 
Clear. Perfect. All right. So there is 9-8 in the books. All right, so 9-9, -9, two white crystal characters and a gun. This is one of the ones where I'm going to have to use three people. So I'm going to use Vincent. I'm going to use Sarah. I'm going to use Daddy Jekt. We're going to bring um, Ifrit Support. And let's bring... Let's see. Actually, who's the final boss here? Oh, a golem. Weak to melee. Okay, so we're going to bring a Squall friend. If I have one available, which I think I do. I do. Perfect. Okay, cool. Let's just brave so we don't get broken. Okay, well that wave went extremely slow. <clears throat> Beast Rush. That should take him out at all attacks and HP attacks. So I'm not trying to play with that. You were supposed to die, my guy. Okay, so Jexy X should be ready to go now. It is not. Okay, so let's, uh, you know what, let's Deadly Beast Flare. In the fire weakness, Jet can take advantage of. And we'll live wire for the attack down. Yeah, so now he's got his defense up on. Um, yeah, we'll brave. And then, um... You know, I'm gonna break with Jax. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope that uh, Vincent's attack down keeps him from breaking Sarah. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, we're wasting a lot of time on this wave. We need to get this guy dead, like now. Good. And yeah, we're gonna EX just to get out of the wave. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there's only one foot god. I thought there were gonna be multiple. 
Okay, well. I guess that works out all the better. Oh my god, the squall. Okay. Okay, good. You have the plus version available. Okay, with any luck, this will do it. It's going to be close. Alright, an assault trigger for the win. See you, dude. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I tried running duos on this stage, and it just was not happening. <laughs> it was not happening with, with Vincent on the field. He just ate too many turns, so... Swap Vincent out to a regular team. Still barely hit the score. Just sad. But we made it. We're good. So there we go. There's a perfect. 8, 9-9 nine is done. Alright, so 9-10. Use a sword character and an archer. You guys already know. Lena and Lightning. Let's go. I am very excited for this. And I'm not even sure I need a support, but we'll just bring... I don't know. We'll bring a Fran. Why not? Okay, Windrake. And that should save Lightning from getting broken. All right, sure did. Perfect. All right, we'll rapid fire. <clears throat> Get that plussed. Rapid fire, and this should do it. Hopefully. Perfect. Okay, let's rapid fire. Take out. Hopefully, not break B. Oh, we broke him. We broke him anyway. Okay, we're going to save our army of one for when that's plus, which will be next turn. Let's go ahead and flourish one more time, get the two stacks. And then we'll Windbreak Arrow. This should prevent Lightning from getting broken. Perfect. Okay, 
Yeah, lightning's just running circles around these puppy dogs right now. Boom. Okay. about to be seeing this guy for Noctis' uh, lost chapter. <clears throat> so their gimmick is they like to hide their turns, their turn or turn order, so then you get confused, you don't know where they're at. But the problem with that is that uh, if you just don't even let them get a turn, then, well, they don't really have much of a gimmick. We're going to summon before B gets his turn. Forty-five thousand in summon. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Lightning. army of one on A here since I don't know where he's at. We're just going to push him back make sure he doesn't even get a chance. Okay, we might actually get a double kill here with uh, Brave Phoenix. Oh, we sure will. Boom. There we go. All right. Good stuff. So there we go. There is 9-10. Uh, I think that's 10. Smash the score. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right, so 9-11, Abyss Beta requires us to bring two black characters and a katana, so that means Squall and Zack. However, since every single wave has Malboro, I'm actually going to bring a favorite I haven't used in quite a long time. Oh, yes. Summoner Tuna. And then we'll bring... I will bring a Squall friend. I am really excited for Yuna's uh, EX. <clears throat> as far as EXs go, it's a decent EX. Uh, the charge time on it is insane. But later on in the EX Plus era, it really turns into something else. Unfortunately, she is a cursed artifact character. So I'm not sure how much I'll pursue that quite yet. But yeah. All right. It's Renzo. That 50% splash is going to help Zack kill... Oh, I didn't even kill B. Look at that. Okay, and this should help me kill A. Okay, good. And we're just going to solid barrel. Just get that solitary lion up. Here's the goof troop. Okay, that puts her right behind the Malboros. That works out really well. 
Or it, it did. <laughs> it did until she snuck ahead of A. Wipe those ickies away. Okay, wow, nice. Squall still got through his blind. That's awesome. I wish I saw B. That's, there goes B. Alright, any luck, this will do it. Perfect. Nice. Okay. EX is ready. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and summon right now. Ooh, that is some nice damage. Okay, let's go. We're just going to burn these guys down. We're not even going to let them get a chance to get an attack off. See ya, dude. Boom. Okay. So there goes 9-11. I could, I could have potentially ran a duo here with just Squall and Zack. But the Wave 3 in particular is really kind of nerve-wracking. <sighs> With the two Malboros, not a way to clear the debuffs. And if both of them got blinded, then it's basically just an RNG roll. Let's see if I even get to attack. So that sounded miserable. So just elected to run a normal team there. Alright, and then the last one, 9-12. Red Crystal character, we're going to use Papalimo, two staff characters, Papalimo and Echo, and then we're bringing Beatrix because she's magic-based, and the boss in the final wave is only weak to magic and resists everything else. So, Beatrix is going to be a good choice here. And we'll bring, you know what, <laughs> we'll bring Mayu's, Mayu's twins. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and throw it on Saint Cloth. Get things started off. Yeah, I didn't think that would kill. This will, though. All right, there goes B. Oh right, yeah, yeah, the magic resistance. I totally forgot about that. Just we just dealt with it, and uh, like two or three stages ago, I already forgot. Take him out. Okay. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, Beatrix is gonna love this stage, because both these guys are weak to lightning, and that's what Beatrix's main game is. And then, yeah, because these guys fall down this way is a joke, because you just break them and you can just bully them at that point. Um, yeah, we'll just smite. Why not? Oh yeah, Beatrix still putting out some nice, nice numbers. <clears throat> Poor thing, he couldn't even get the break. And down he goes. He's just having a rough time. Okay, there he goes. Okay, so because these guys do resist magic, I'm gonna go ahead and HP regen, get around that magic resistance. I don't know how much damage this is gonna do, but I'm willing to try it, try and get out of the wave. Wow. That was... that was terrible. <laughs> that wasn't very good, was it? Okay. There we go. Pretty annoying having a ton of enemies that are resistant to magic, but then making the boss in the final wave only weak to magic and resist everything else. <clears throat> Now, who am I going to swap out for the twins? Aiko or Papalimo? I don't know. You know what? I'll probably keep Aiko. So. Yep. I'll summon right now. Yeah, we'll keep Aiko for sure. Oh, that nice 100% splash is so good. So good. Woo! Oh my god, the twins do work with magic weakness. Oh, and then a Klim has it. This might actually finish it. Oh! So close. Alright, we'll finish with a smite. Boom. Alright, so there we go, guys. So that's how I cleared the 6th 